Folks, welcome back to the shop. Uh, first off, um, our loyal listeners will notice that we missed last week. It's been wild here at the facilities and couldn't throw something good. Couldn't th put anything together for you or didn't feel like we could do justice to it. But we cleaned out four trucks in the last 24 hours. Let me just get the necessary supplies here. And we're gonna need a oh. Of course, the battle helmet. So we're back and we're gonna talk. Uh, what a great time to do this. We're gonna talk about the economy of the parts washer. What better time to discuss the parts washer than the dreaded, awful job of cleaning it? I gotta do this job every two years as of right now. And that frequency is increasing because we're doing more business. Which I guess is a good problem to have. Uh, first off, we went with the Stingray because they have a patented design. Uh, this company, that's all they do and they do do it the best. Um, they're not cheap, but they have the best support and I believe the best technology. This is one of the smallest machines that they make. They actually make them big enough that you can put a car on it. The reason, let's get this opened up. Probably the primary selling point for going with a Stingray is the patented spray bar. This bar oscillates off of like a third horse motor back and forth and then like if you power washing anything you know you can you don't get it until you change your angle of attack and i felt that that was what was really what was missing to 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 put a, a product over the top in this area if you'll notice i'll take a peek at the holes they're like got about a 3 16th hole in them 20 horse pump motor on this bad boy and again I'll remind you this is one of the smallest units that they make first step cleaning uh, once a week or so I gotta go through here and pull all the big chunkities out now this screen here isn't too bad but I just cleaned it I do that about once every oh, month or two As you can see, we've already pumped it out and we pump it into a, a tote and a recycler comes and gets it and we dispose of it. Now you're supposed to take all those panels out and they want you to shovel it out. I've done this twice. We'll see. I was younger the last time, but not much. But I crawled in there. Well, we'll see how this goes. Speaking of the economy of, this machine was uh, $49,000. Um, like I said, it's it was the highest priced one on the market. I fully expect it to last 25 plus years. And I think it'll last me actually forever. Uh, as far as their use cycle, it goes, ours is extremely low. The machine has 232 hours on it. Um, and it can clean this machine can clean pretty pretty readily, pretty easily. Oh! 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 Right out the gate. As I was saying, The big advantage is this machine will clean in eight minutes. Easily what would take a guy an hour. So maybe not. An hour, I figure uh, a factor of 1.5 when I'm doing my 
return on investment calculations. So with that efficiency factor of 1.5, at 230 machine hours is more realistically like uh, 350 man hours so 30 32 grand plus 35 in man hours so after five years and I'm kind of, with that factor of 1.5, I'm figuring electrical costs and soap, which I don't know what those costs are. So after five years, I've still got 15% you know, of my investment to go. Fortunately, at my age, everything I can play, I play the long game. Because, God willing, I'll be doing this for many, 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 many years yet. So my initial ROI calculations were five years optimistically we're gonna miss that target a little bit realistically eight the machine will last 25 before it needs to be rebuilt and even then they have value a cheaper unit maybe wouldn't but a stingray does Nice part and like where I've learned to find the joy in this kind of stuff people do ask me that like so we're back at it here and I broke my tool So the machine owes me mm, 15 grand yet. I mean, that's not even calculating increased employee morale and hopefully retention so that they don't have to scrub this crap. No, I would sure enjoy that. Um, I have my 50 grand back in eight years. Uh, life expectancy is what? Th 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 minimum three times that. So, long term, by spending the money up front, its lifetime this machine should net me a hundred K net profit gain which I'll dig in the shit for a hundred grand I got nothing better to do. You can find the joy in crappy work. There's always work to do.
There's always joy to be had. That's all we gotta do yet. definitely older than the last time I did this. Okay, so maybe I did take them out and I just don't remember. We got a fair bit of shoveling to do yet. So there you go, we got it all scrubbed out. Just gotta rinse it down. Uh, rinse me. Rinse me down. So here we are to the best part. Click. Uh, there's a float over there with a valve. Whenever the machine is on, it will not turn the heaters on until it's full. So the easiest part of the whole thing, turn it on and it fills with water. We're gonna get it put back together. Uh, put the panels back in it and I'll show you the soap and We'll fire it up. Sure wish Mike Rowe was here. Well, let's see if we can get the Punisher stuck. Still good. was close. Yes, it's full. So now we just got to add soap and defoment. Uh, we use Power Clean 2 soap, which it really works well. It's an aluminum safe, um, so it's, it's non-caustic. So they got tests on how you're supposed to mix it and stuff, how strong. I've got figured out exactly, or pretty darn close, what this machine will take. And it's a little better than a five-gallon pail. Because of the fumes that can be emitted, it is not advised that you dump the soap directly into the water. You dump it here in the stand on the turntable. table. And put it some on the floor. There we go. 
Job's done. Still got some soap to mix in there, but I had to stop it because when it's cold, it'll foam up and run over. So we gotta let that get up to temp before we run it again. And that is the dirtiest job in the shop. Thanks for watching.